I shot on film in college in 2001 when film was on its way out the door, or 2000 maybe, or 1999. Conformed film in these fingers, you know, ran it, showed the film in interlock, watched it show on the screen for my thesis project, walked out of college and never touched film again. And, and I walked right into the film business because I was very fortunate, you know, to get a job right away. And I worked as a PA on something shot on film right then, then immediately moved to Los Angeles and never worked on a film project again. I feel really fortunate from early on knowing that I was particularly interested in lighting more than any other thing. And then all the other elements that have to do with being a director of photography, with, you know, composition, texture, production design, uh, shot design, blocking, like all of those things were, I was not immediately attracted to. I really didn't understand. But anything that I could do to get as close as I could to the smartest people in the room, to the coolest little toys, and to the lights, that's what I wanted to do. And with every single job, I'd try and take one little half step closer, and that's what's gotten me into this position where I am. And it's great. This is the Canon C300. You know what, I don't have a favorite camera. I think I like what a lot of DPs like is to number one work with what I think is going to be right for the particular project and what I think is going to be easy to work with and is going to help me create the look that the director wants. Um, but a lot of them do that. You know, a lot of them can be flexed around to do different stuff. I personally own seven different cameras and this is one of them. So, okay, 15 years, tons of, tons of reality TV. Um, lots Lots of really good documentary and good kind of beat verite um, television shows, documentary based television shows. And then I switched back over to narrative, which is where I started um, recently because of all these, uh, you know, all Dick Wolf, One World Chicago shows, made a lot of work available for that. And that has also been great. And I really don't think I would have been able to put my whole heart into either of them without the one that I had done previously. It's like each time, each time that I sit in front of whoever's going to hire me on a particular job, it, all they want to hear about is the strengths that I was able to draw from the work that I did before, regardless of its style, type, or delivery. And how I can augment that and use that and yoke the strengths from that previous work to be able to bring something interesting to the show that they want. There's a certain level where the DP is introduced into a project and the heart of the project and the mission of the project is already done. I can't help but kind of interject my two cents a little bit when it comes to story, but I'm reacting to the subject matter in a way that I think will be interesting and in the way that time allows and in the way that all other elements of production allow me to do so. I'm just trying to work together with everyone to be able to deliver on a schedule as creatively and freely and interestingly as possible. Oh God, I love them all. I love them all. So I've had so many direct colleagues, Bruce Reddy, Gretchen Warthen, Melinda Davidson, Lex Dupont ASC, that have been so informative to me, Lisa Wiegand ASC, uh, as far as the next steps to take. But the, and then there are the legends, the uh, rest in peace, the people that have passed, Vilmos Zygmunt, Laszlo Kovac, um, Gordon Willis, and then, you know, and on and on. The ones everyone loves, Emmanuel Lubinsky, Roger Deakins. Yes, I'm completely obsessed with all them, always watching. The style will be determined when I'm dead. Style, my style will be determined by the body of work when you get to see it. When someone else watches it as one piece in the end, 